Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to count the number of digits in an integer so guys in this program we will be learning how do we count the number of digits using a loop in java so basically what will be the logic that we will be using we will be using the divide operator until the number becomes zero and on every iteration we are going to increment the count variable so for example let's say if the user enters the number as 1 2 3 4 so it is having four number of digits. so we should get the result as number of digits is equal to 4 and accordingly whatever number is entered by the user we should count the number of digits in that number guys apart from this at the end of the video i will also show you how do we count the number of digits without using the for loop so stay with me till the end of this video so let us move to the eclipse id over here and first of all we are going to declare the variable that is number which is going to be entered by the user so how do we take the input from the user first of all we will ask the user in order to provide the number over here so over here we will ask the user to enter number and then user will be entering the number so how do we take the input from the user by using the scanner class so we have the scanner class we will define the object as sc it is equal to new scanner constructor so inside this constructor we will be having the system dot n as the parameter so that user can provide the input on the console and over here we will be taking the input from the user by using the next int method so guys this method is responsible in order to take the input that is the integer from the user and we will have to assign it to the number variable so we have number it is equal to sc dot next int now guys we will be having the entered number by the user in this number variable now we need to find the number of digits inside this variable so we will be using the while loop in this case so while number is not equal to 0 so guys we have to check until the number is not equal to 0 if the number becomes equal to 0 then the control flow will come out of this while loop and before this while loop we will have another variable that will be the count which will have the number of digits in this number so guys initially we will keep the count as 0 and then over here what we have to do is we have to use the divide operator so number it is equal to number divided by 10 so guys over here what will happen is let's say if 1 2 3 4 is entered by the user 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 will give us 1 2 3 as the answer so this 1 2 3 will be stored back to the number variable once again and this 4 will be removed and since this 4 is removed we need to increment the count variable over here so after doing this we will say count plus plus so count variable is incremented so every time the last number is removed from this number the count variable will be incremented inside the while loop and that is how we will get the number of digits in this number when we come out of the while loop so over here once the number becomes zero we will have the number of digits inside this count variable so we simply have to provide the print statement and say number of digits and then colon and then we can simply have the count variable over here so guys this is the code in order to find the number of digits inside the entered number so let me just save this file and try running this code now the program is asking the user to enter the number so let's say we provide the same number that is 1 2 3 4 and then when we press enter as you can see number of digits it is coming as 4 let me just run this code once again we will provide some other number let's say we provide 5 4 6 3 7 8 2 1 so it is having how many number of digits eight number of digits inside this number so let me press enter over here as you can see number of digits it is showing as eight so guys this is the very simple logic that you can use in order to find the number of digits in the entered number now guys what is the other way without using this loop can we find the number of digits in the number yes we can so basically i'll just remove these lines of code over here and once the user enters this number what we have to do is we have to convert this number to the string and we can use the string dot length method in order to find the length of that string which will give us the number of digits in the number so guys what we will do over here is let's say i provide the string that is str it is equal to we will say string dot value of so guys this is one way that we can convert the number to the string so basically we use string dot value of and then inside the brackets we provide the number variable so what this will do is it will convert this number into the string and assign it to the string variable now we can simply use the string dot length method in order to get the number of digits so i'll simply provide the print statement over here and i'll say number of 
digits and then colon and then we will be having string dot length over here so guys as you can see we have the string dot length method in order to find the length of the string let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see it is asking the user to enter the number i'll provide one two three four as the number and then when we press enter it says number of digits it is equal to four so basically what has happened is this number has been converted to the string and then we are using the string dot length property in order to get the number of digits inside this number let me just run this code once again we will see another input over here let's say i provide this number that is eight seven six five four three two one and then zero and then let me press enter as you can see there are nine digits inside this number and that is what we are getting the number of digits is nine in this case so guys this is another way that we can use in order to find the number of digits in the entered number so guys please practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different output please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to calculate the power of a number in java so stay tuned